I am a tutor in App Labs. Today we are going to discuss about embedded system paradigms part one, legacy versus modern development efforts. Uh, as introduction, embedded system functionality aspects, uh, we, we are going to see about the processing, the transformation of data, implementing, implemented using process, storage, retention of data, implemented using memory, communication, Transfer of data between process and memories implemented using buses called interfacing. A simple bus, um, the diagram shows uh, the bus structure of address and data bus. Uh, data bus is of the width of eight, uh, eight bits, address bus is of the width of 12 bits. Um, wires, unidirectional and bidirectional data buses. Atlas bus is uh, unidirectional, data bus is um, both unidirectional and bidirectional. One line may represent multiple wires. Bus set of wires with a single bus is a set of wires with a single function. Atlas bus data bus or entire collection of wires, address data and control. Associated protocols, uh, that is rules for communication among them. Ports. Um, uh, conducting device on periphery conducts bus to processor uh, memory, often referred to as a pin. Actual pins on periphery of IC package that plug into socket or printer circuit board. Sometimes metallic balls instead of pins. Today, metal pads connecting processors, bus, and memories within the single IC. Single wire or set of wires with single function. Example, 12 wire at the sport, 8 wire data port. The figure shows the how uh, between the interface between the process and memory with uh, address and data port. Timing diagrams, most common method for describing a communication protocol, time periods to the right on the x-axis, control signal, low or high. Uh, may be active low, that is go dash to go or go dash to low, go dash to uh, low, use terms assert, active and deassert. Uh, asserting go dash means go is equal to zero. Data signal not valid or valid. Protocol may have sub protocols called bus cycle, read or write. Each may have several clock cycles. Read example, read uh, bar, write, set flow address based on address for uh, at least T setup time before enable asserted. Enable triggers memory to place data on data wires by time T read. Um, here is the read protocol when the enable is uh, given and the address is maintained, data get transferred. And here is the right protocol when the enable is done, address is maintained, right uh, for a setup time, the time T write happens. Basic protocol concept actor, master initiates servant slave respond, direction sender receiver, addresses special kind of data, specifies a location in memory, a peripheral or a register within a peripheral, time multiplexing. Share a single set of wires for multiple pieces of data. Save wires at expense of time. Time multiplex data transfer it is a master slave. A request is sent. Once um, uh, the servant sends back, uh, um, um, the data. The requirement is bad, and data serializing happens. Data is sent in two chunks in two clock cycles. When the address uh, is done, address also is done too. First the address is done and then the data is done. Address data multiplexing is done in this uh, setup. Here only data serializing is done. Basic protocol concept control methods. Uh, master asserts a request to receive data. Servant puts on the bus within time T access. 
T access the data, master receive data, and B assets request servant ready for next request. This is a strobe protocol. And this, this kind of protocol is called strobe protocol. In the handshake protocol, what happens? The master asserts request to receive data. Servant puts data on the bus and asserts acknowledgement. It sends acknowledgement. Master receives data and B asserts request. B asserts request. Servant ready for next request. When DSS requests, it, 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 uh, DSS both acknowledgement data. Yes, true handshake compromise. Um, uh, we have two cases. Uh, uh, we have MOSS uh, request, uh, weight, and data. Uh, fast response case in the MOSS request, asserts uh, uh, request to receive data. Servant puts data on bus within. T access time, wait time, wait line is unused. Master receives data and DSS request. Servant ready for next request. Slow response case, master asserts request to receive data. Servant can't put data within T access assets, wait acknowledge. Servant put data on the bus and DSS wait. Master receives data and DSS request. Servant ready to, for the next request. Uh, ESA bus protocol, memory access, ESA industry standard architecture, it stands for industry common in 8086, features 20-bit address, compromise, store band check control, uh, four cycles default, uh, unless uh, CHRD by ST accepted resulting in addition white cycles of six. So in the microprocessor is there, the white uh, the memory, and IO devices are there, and the bus is connected. ESA bus is connected. Uh, to, uh, um, so uh, this is the data, data, and this is a cycle. This is a clock. This is the data. This is address, yearly, memory, uh, chip ready. Uh, clock uh, data is present. Uh, for a longer time, an address, uh, address uh, is present for a longer time. Data happens uh, after a wait state. Address line, chip ready, it waits for the chip ready signal, and chip ready goes in, then the wait, go, uh, wait is removed and the data is transferred. Microprocessor interfacing, IO addressing. A microprocessor communicates with other devices using some of its pins. Port based IO or parallel IO. Processor has one or more end bit ports. Processor software reads and writes a port just like a register. Example P0 is equal to 0 xxf, P is equal to P1.2, and P0 and P1 are 8 bit ports. Bus based IO. Processor has address, data, and control ports that form a signal, signal bus. Communication protocol is built into the processor. A single interaction carries out the read or write protocol on the bus. Compromise and extensions, parallel IO, uh, peripheral. And when processor only supports bus-based IO, but parallel IO needed, each port on peripheral connected to the register within the peripheral that is read written uh, by the processor. Parallel IO peripheral is the Additional uh, this one where port A and B is here. They're adding parallel uh, to the bus based. I will put uh, here is a system bus to which the parallel I go peripheral is connected. Extended at parallel I go when process supports uh, port based I go, but more ports are needed. One or more processor ports interface with the parallel I go peripheral, extending total number of ports available for I go. Example, extending four ports to six ports. So three ports are there. One of the port is connected with parallel IO and three other ports are added. Types of bus-based IO, memory mapped IO, and standard IO. Processor talks to both memory and peripherals using the same bus, two ways to talk to peripherals. Memory mapped IO, peripheral registers uh, of 
occupy addresses in same address space as memory. Example, bus has 16-bit address. No over 32K addresses may, may correspond to memory. Upper 32K address may correspond to peripheral. Standard IO or IO mapped IO. Additional pin M bar IO on the bus indicates whether a memory or peripheral access. Example, bus has 16-bit address. All 64K addresses correspond to memory when M bar IO is set to zero. All 64K addresses correspond to peripheral when M bar IO is set to one. Memory mapped I.O. was a standard I.O. Memory mapped I.O. requires no special instructions. Assembly instructions involving memory, like move, add, work with peripherals as well. Standard I.O. requires special instructions, example, in, out, to move data between peripheral and registers in memory. Standard I.O. No loss of memory addresses to peripherals. Simpler address decoding logic in peripherals possible when number of peripherals much smaller than the address space, then higher order address bits can be ignored. Smaller uh, and or faster comparators are needed. ESA bus, ESA supports for standard I.O. Slash I.O. are distinct from memory read for peripheral and uh, I.O. write use for writes. 16-bit address space for I.O versus the 20-bit address space for memory. Other way, very similar to uh, protocol. The clock, uh, so uh, up to this, there's a wait state and then chip ready comes and I will write uh, read operation happens. Yeah, the uh, data is read. A basic memory, uh, memory protocol interfacing an H051 to an external memory is shown in figure. Ports P0 and P1 support uh, port base IO when A051 uh, internal memory is being used. Those ports serve as data address bus when external memory is being used. 16 bit address and 8 bit data line are time multiplex. No 8 bits of address must be therefore dashed when with the aid of a address latch enable. Segment. So, lower bit is enabled, address large enabled. This one, higher bit is here. And the uh, pin out bus takes the read address and then the data. When the read goes to, to I. A more complex memory protocol. Specification for a single read instruction, clock, uh, ADSB, ADSC, ADV, address, write, enable, uh, OE, CS1, CS2, CS3, data, data, CS1, CS2, CS3, CS2, OE, bar, write, bar, address. Generates control signals to drive the tc 55 e 235 ff memory chip to in bus mode. Address 0 is the starting address input to the device. GO is enable, disable input device. Input to device. The um, finite state machine is like this. S0, um, ADSP is equal to 1, ADSC is equal to 1, ADV is equal to 1, OE is equal to 1, address is equal to Z. If G0 is equal to 0, it loops back. If G0 is equal to 1, ADSP is equal to 0, ADSC is equal to 0, ADV is equal to OE on address 1, it goes to state 1. And if it is G0 from here, if it is G0 is equal to 0, it goes to state 0. Otherwise, it goes to state uh, 2. Here, ADSP is equal to 1, ADSC is equal to 1, ADV is equal to 1, OE is equal to 1, address is equal to Z. If it is G0, it goes to state 0, or if it is G, uh, G1, G0 is equal to 1, it comes to ADC is equal to S3. Data is ready here. ADSP is equal to 1, ADS is equal to ADV, O is equal to address is equal to 0. If it is G0 equal to 1, it moves back to the same state. If G0 is equal to 0, it goes back to the initial state.
Microprocessor interfacing interprets, suppose a peripheral intermittently received data, which must be serviced by the processor. The processor can pull the peripheral regularly to see if the data has been arrived or has pulled. The peripheral can interrupt the processor when it has data, requires an extra pin or pin, uh, pins interrupt. If interrupt is one, processor suspends current program, jumps to an interrupt service routine ISR, known as interrupt driven IO, especially polling of the interrupt pin into hardware, so no extra time. Uh, where, uh, what is the address, interrupt address vector of the ISR? Fixed interrupt address built into microprocessor cannot be changed. Either ISR stored at address or a jump to actual ISR stored if not enough bytes are available. Vector the interrupt peripheral must provide the address. Common when microprocessor has multiple provisions connected to a system bus. Compromise interrupt address table. So interrupt driven IO using a fixed ISR location. So uh, uh, microprocessor is executing its main program. Uh, P1 receives input data in a register with address 0x8000. P1 asserts uh, interrupt to request servicing by the microprocessor. After completing instruction at 100, microprocessor sees interrupt assessors, saves the PC's values of 100, and sets PC to ISR fixed location of 16. Um, the ISR reads data uh, from 0x8000, modifies the data, and writes the resulting data to 0x8001. Uh, after being read, P1D asserts the interrupt, and then microprocessor exposes it to the ISR returns, thus restoring PC2 100 plus 101, where UP resumes exe uh, executing. Interrupt driven IO using fixed. ISR location. MUP is existing, uh, executing its main program. P1 uh, receives input data in the register address 0x8000. Then it moves up the system bus. P1 asserts interrupt to request servicing by the microprocessor. So you interrupt to request this happens. Interrupt driven IO using fixed ISR like now after completing instruction at and run, UP sees interrupt uh, asserted, saves the PC value of 100 and sets PC to ISR fixed location 16. In, the ISR reads data 0x8000, modifies the data and writes the resulting data into 8001. After being read, P1D assets interrupt. The ISR returns, thus restoring PC to 100 plus 100 plus 101, where the MUP resumes executing. Interrupt driven IO using vectored uh, interrupt. MUP is executing the main program. Uh, P1 receives input data in a register with address 0x8000. Um, P1 asserts interrupt to request servicing by the microprocessor. After completing the instruction under, MUP sees uh, INT asserted saves the PC value of 100 and assess the INTA. P1 detects INTA and puts interrupt address vector 16 on the database. UP jumps to the address on the bus 16. The ISR that reads data from 8000, modifies the data and writes the resulting data to 8001. After being read, P1D asserts the interrupt. The ISR returns thus reassuring PC2. 100 plus 101, where mu p resumes executing. P is executing its main program. P1 receives input data register with address 0x1000, and it makes a request to the interrupt. Interrupt is requested. P1 assess the interrupt to request servicing by the microprocessor. 
After completing the instruction, new piece set interrupt asserted and saves a PC value and asserts INTA. P1 detects INTA and puts interrupt address address 16 on the data bus. PC jumps to the address on the bus 16, the ISR there reads data from 0x 8000, modifies the data and tries the resulting data to 0x 8001. After being read, uh, P1 DSS INT to 0. The ISR returns the study showing PC 200 plus 101, where mu P assumes. Interrupt address uh, table comprises between comp compromise between fixed and vector interrupts. One interrupt pin table in memory holding ISR addresses may be two to six words. Peripheral does not provide ISR address, but rather index into table. Fewer bits are sent by the peripheral. Can move ISR location without changing peripheral. Additional interrupt issues, maskable versus non-maskable interrupts. Maskable programmer can set bit that causes also to ignore interrupt. Important when in the middle of time critical code. Non-maskable, a separate interrupt when that cannot be masked, typically reserved for drastic situations like power failure requiring immediate backup of data to non volatile memory. Jump to ISR, some microprocessor treat jump, same as call of any subroutine. Complete state saved PC registers may take hundreds of cycles, other only saved partial state like PC only. There, thus, ISR must not modify registers or else must save them first. Assembly language programmer must be aware of which register stores. Direct memory access buffering, temporarily storing data in memory before processing data accumulated in peripherals commonly buffered. Microprocessor can handle this with ISR, storing and restoring microprocessor state in efficient regular program. Must wait. DMA controller more efficient. Separate single purpose processor. Microprocessor relinquishes control of uh, system bus to DMA controller. Microprocessor can minute execute its regular program. No inefficient storing and restoring state due to ISR call. Regular program need not wait unless it requires system bus. Hardwood architecture processor can fetch and execute instruction as long as they does not access data memory. If they do, processor stalls. Peripheral to memory transfer without DMA using vector identity. Mu P is executing its big program. P want to see input data in register with address 08000 X8000. P1 as such interrupt to request servicing by the microprocessor after completing the instruction at 100. Mu P such interrupt assert saves the PC value of 100 and assess INTA. P1 detects INTA and puts interrupt address vector 16 on the database. Mu P jumps on the address to the database. 16 ISR there uh, read data from 0x8000 and then write to 0 into 0x0001, which is, in, which is in memory. After being read, P1 DSS INT. ISR returns, thus assuring PC to 100 plus 1, where Mu P resumes executing. Peripheral memory to transfer without DMA using vector interrupt. UP is executing its main program. P1 receives input data in the register 0x8000. And sends it to the system bus. P1 assess INT request uh, to servicing by microprocessor. INT is set to 1. INT is set to 1 by the uh, microprocessor. P1 directs INTA and puts address vector uh, 16 on the database. UP jumps to the address on bus 16. The ISR there reads the data 0x8000 and then write it to 0x001 is in memory after being read P1 DSS INT. Mm. ISR returns the storing PC to PC. Mm. 
GC to 100 plus 1 is not done, where nuclear assumes executing. Peripheral to memory transfer with the MA, MUP is executing its main program. It has already configured the DMA control registers. P1 receives input data in uh, a register with uh, address 0AX8000. P1 assesses request to uh, request servicing by DMA control. DMA control assesses D request to request control of system bus. After uh, executing instruction 100, UP sees D request asserted, releases the system bus, uh, asserts D acknowledge, and assumes execution. UP stalls only if it needs the system bus to continue executing. DMA control asserts uh, acknowledge B, reads data from 0x8000, and B takes the data to 0x0001. The DMA DSS D requests and acknowledge completing and check with P1. Uh, P1 DSS requests and UP DSS D acknowledge and assumes control, control of the bus. UP is executing my program. It has already configured DMA control registers. P1 receives input data in the register with address 0x8000. P1 assess requests uh, servicing by DMA control. DMA uh, control uh, assess D request to control of the system bus. UP gives a D acknowledge after ex ex executing 100. Uh, UP gives a D request asserted, releases the system bus, but asserts D acknowledge and resume execution. UP stalls only if it needs the system bus to continue executing. DMA control asserts, acknowledge, reads data from 08x8000 and writes data to the 0x01. Meanwhile, processor will still executing, if not stalled. DMA D asserts, uh, acknowledge, uh, D request, and acknowledge completing the handshake with P1. Thank you.